Welcome to UE Cave Hill. There are three halls on the University of the West Indies Cave Hill campus, and we're gonna briefly touch on all of them in this video. So from the front entrance of campus, if you actually walk down the hill, you're going to arrive at um, Keith Hunt Hall eventually. So here's just some views of the walk down the hill from UE, so it's a little bit further away than the rest of them, but it is across from the SO, and it is right in front of the bus stop as well, which you'll see. Right there in the video. Um, this is Keith Hunt Hall. Uh, it's a pretty typical residence building. I've never been inside of it, but you can get air conditioning in the rooms here. And I know there's a few single rooms in here, and it would be good if you were, I guess, interested in being a little bit closer to the bus route uh, and the SO, but it is a little bit of a farther walk from campus, although I guess if you prioritize air conditioning and maybe some quiet, this would be a good place for you. Uh, one of the international students did stay there, but he ended up moving to Sherlock because he felt like he was too far away from campus. So again, just a personal decision if you'd like to live down here or not. But back on the main campus, if you take a right turn when you walk in like I'm doing in this video, you're going to come up towards Sherlock Hall. Uh, Sherlock is a very, very big residence building, so there's, I'm not sure how many students in there, but there's a lot of double rooms and there's three floors. Um, there are some single rooms as well. It is more of like a traditional residence style building, so um, like two beds and a desk and a closet each. Nothing too, too fancy, but definitely livable. This is where I started when I first um, came to UWE, but all of the international students were up the hill at Frank Worrell Hall, so I ended up moving there to be a little bit closer with everyone I was hanging out with. And there's Frank in the distance, so that's where I moved. Those colorful buildings at the top of the hill so when you go through the front entrance it's just up the hill and on the left instead of the right like Sherlock um, so it's definitely a bit of a hike from the bus stop although it is close to the ZR station I'll do another video on the buses to explain that but um, this is a really nice residence building I can't speak so much because I didn't spend time in Keith but I definitely think this is the nicest of the two that I was in um, the rooms are single but you share your floor with six other people so there's three floors, six people per floor, 18 people per block, and block would be uh, just those buildings, like that pink one there would be one block. So walking up into Frank, there's security um, out front where you check in and it's all gated. And then if you walk to your right, I don't really show it in the video, but that's where there's some buildings for classes, uh, as well as Campus Mart, which is good if you're a chocolate fanatic like I am. Um, so that's the security office that I'm showing there and block one right on your left. Um, so when you go through security, you can whoop, grab the door before it shuts. <laughs> um, when you come through security, you can see a few of the blocks. That's block one. And then those turquoise ones are block four, five, and six, which is where I live. Um, this parking lot is usually empty. It's mostly used for administrative buildings. And there's block five right there that's where i live so we take this little path around here lots of wildlife there's birds there's usually lots of roosters around sometimes we see monkeys and then this is the back you can see the three floors there that's our little sign and the staircases so it's all very open it's kind of a unique looking uh residence so then this is our shared area right here this is kind of like the living space and dining room table we've since acquired a couple dining room chairs but that's what it looked like a couple weeks ago we have some couches, there's these sliding doors which open and close depending on if it's raining or sunny or sometimes people close them at night. And then there's some more couches there which are super comfy and good for hanging out with the other girls or boys on your block. And then this is just looking off up where you can sort of see that you can see the people right above you and then those are the rooms there um, on either side of the living room. And then looking up again, it's kind of cool how open it is because the weather's so sunny here, they don't really need um, all of the, I guess, things that we have home in Canada to keep the snow out. There's our kitchen. It's a shared kitchen. It's about as tidy as it gets with six girls living together. <laughs> I'm sure you know the struggle if you've ever had roommates. But yeah, it comes with a stove and a fridge. We've since acquired a microwave. Most blocks have a microwave. There's lots of storage for people. There's our little compost bin. And then this is my room right here. We are the queens, I guess, our blocks. So that's why there's a little crown sticker on my door. Everyone has their own key to the block. We usually leave ours open, but everyone also has a room key for their individual room, which most people keep locked. So every room comes with 
pretty basic. So there's my towel rack on the back of my door, kind of like a view of the room. Everyone has a desk and a single bed and a couple shelves up top, uh, as well as a sink, which was super exciting. I did not expect to have a sink in my residence room, which was kind of exciting, honestly. And then there's tons of other storage there as well, which is really great for all of your things and keeps it nice and hidden. This stubborn door won't ever shut on me, even though there's nothing in it. And then there's this great big closet here, which is super awesome for storing all of your clothes. And I kind of like the, just the door design. It kind of reminds me of a very Caribbean style. There's our sink, pretty basic, um, but honestly really useful. You don't even have to leave your room to fill up your water bottle or brush your teeth at night, which I have found to be super convenient. Um, there's some lights over the sink area. There's also a light over the bed and the desk. That's just where I keep all my toiletries and things, just under the sink. My eco suds for washing my clothes, they're just called soap nuts. And then just some extra toiletries that I bought, brought from home for when I ran out. That's my cosmetic bag that I got at a market in Whole Town, and then I just keep all my toothpaste and toothbrush and stuff in there. There's the closet, bring your own hangers for sure. Uh, mine didn't have any in it when I came. And then I just keep some vitamins and sunscreen and all my other clothes, just like a dresser there. There's lots of room. I was worried, I guess, about not having a lot of room for my clothes, but there's plenty of room. Got my reusable bags for when we go grocery shopping or when we go to the beach. I just use it as a beach bag. Clothes pins are another thing I would recommend bringing because it does cost money to use the dryer, but the sun is free. <laughs> And there's more storage up there. That's too high for me to reach, so I don't keep much up there. And then I've got these shelves here where I just keep things I use a lot, like my books and my uh, writing notebooks for class, my hard drives and stuff. My new sun hat that I got at the Whole Town Festival. Very essential, especially without sunglasses. <laughs> and then I just tucked my luggage up there so it wasn't under my bed. I just didn't want it to get moldy or gross or anything. And there's the single bed. It's not extra long or anything. Just uh, regular sheets fit on there fine and I don't have a duvet cover or anything because it is very hot at night and I don't think you would need one really. I've never had a night where I was like chilly. <laughs> and there's just another panel of the room. That light there is actually red for me so I almost never turn it on. The desk's a really good size. I can definitely get some homework going there. I just keep my shoes under my desk right there. And I stuck some pictures of my family so I always have something to look at while I'm doing homework. Comes with a chair, which is, I guess, important. <laughs> Stick my backpack under there. The windows are really cool. There's no glass in the windows here. Um, so I do have to shut those. You see them all open here in the video, but I do shut them at night to keep the mosquitoes out. But the way they open offers an awesome breeze during the day and you can keep, um, I'm just opening it there, but you can keep it shut during the day to keep the sunlight out and hot from heating up your room, but you can get the breeze, which is honestly awesome. The only thing is that a lot of grass does blow in here, so I do have to dust off my desk a lot. <laughs> but other than that, super impressed with the size of the room and the amenities that are in each room. Definitely no complaints there. Another desk view. You can tell I like my desk. <laughs> I also have a view of the front entrance right from my room so I can see who's coming and going all hours of the day. Just another distraction, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to get homework done. Here we're back outside and heading towards the JCR. I'm not actually sure what that stands for, but it's basically just this common area in our residence where anyone can go to hang out. So when you go inside, there's some bathrooms and then there's this kind of common space with some couches. Sometimes people hang out there and they might do homework. This is the best spot to watch the sunset on campus, if you ask me. And then if you look up, there's more seating upstairs. It's not super clear in the video what's up there, but I'll take you up in a second. And there's also this study room right off the main area, which is awesome. It has a whiteboard and it was good for group projects. I used it for that um, sort of thing a couple times. Oh, we're just studying alone. And then there's these stairs up here. This is where I do yoga in the morning because it's kind of a cute little spot. Um, but I've also done homework up here, just hung out with people because it's got this kind of open breezy area. It doesn't get too hot up here and there's lots of tables and um, mats to sit on and this bench. So it's kind of a cute little area if you want to get away from your desk in your room for a little bit and have a change of scenery. It's also good for yoga, although I would recommend bringing a yoga mat if you are into that because the hardwood floor is not super kind to my back or knees, but oh well. 
And yeah, it's just got this super high ceiling, really nice space. This is just the clothesline behind our area where I dry my clothes. And then there's these washing machines. It costs $3 Barbados for a token, which is why I don't buy any dryer tokens because that's a little expensive. So other than that, that's pretty much the halls tour. I don't have any interior views of Sherlock Hall or Keith Hall, but I hope that gives you a good idea of what the inside of Frank looks like and at least what the outside of those other residences look like. Um, so yeah, just to review, Sherlock and Frank are on the main campus and Keith is down the hill. Um, Sherlock mostly has double rooms and then Frank and Keith more have single rooms. Keith does have air conditioning whereas Frank does not, but Frank you get to stay in these super cute little colored blocks so that's exciting and I guess it's all personal preference on where you think that you would like to stay while you're here but other than that, that's Halls. If you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Have a good day!